It's Toby from Heavyweight MMA today with Brogan Anderson from CKB. Uh, ready for his upcoming fight in Australia. How are you, brother? Yeah, going good, bro. Thanks for having me on. Man, um, you were supposed to be fighting in Sydney back in September. Um, your opponent, Matt Myers, pulled out. Uh, how was it after that, man? What was the sort of steps you took to get him back into the ring? Uh, yeah, it was unfortunate. Um, we tried to find a replacement. Obviously, it was like pretty pretty late notice. It was the last like two and a half weeks ish. Um, they were still trying to get a title fight on the card, so five rounds at reasonably short notice is a pretty tough ask for anyone. Um, so yeah, it didn't come to anything in the end. But John Martin Fraser was keen, just needed a little bit more time. So we've just pushed back to November, and so I was able to just kind of roll on uh, with the training and kind of reset the training camp a little bit, and here we are. Man, it's a pretty good matchup. When I look at you two, two powerful guys getting there, it's going to be a bit of a clash, right? Like straight away, you guys are going to get head to head, I reckon. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's probably, I think, uh, the toughest fight I could take in the in the regional scene. I think I've got a lot of respect for him. Um, he's been their champion before. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's probably a, uh, maybe stylistically a tougher matchup for me. He's pretty well rounded. He's got a good good grappling game. He's got good wrestling. He's got good striking. There's there's not going to be an easy route to victory. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited. It's going to be a it's going to be a tough one. Yeah, man. When you watch uh, watch his fight with Matt Myers before, it showed their grappling finesse. But these two are kind of known to be good strikers as well. So, like you mentioned, he's a he's a good all rounder. And when you look at his style, like he's his skill set is up there with, you know, with the best organizations in the world, I would say. So it puts a good, um, it, it will give a good impression for you to take a win over him, right? For sure. Yeah, I, I've got all the respect in the world for him. I think he is a like yeah, a top fighter, a top class fighter, a guy who could be competing in some of the big organizations for sure. So yeah, it, it's a it's a it's a good scalp for me to take, and that will cement my place as being the best middleweight in the region. So, man, you had a big, uh, like, a camp leading up, obviously. Uh, then it gets delayed. What does that do to you, man? Does that just mean you've got to grind for longer? Does that take any steam out of you? What does it do? Uh, it took the wind out of the sails a little bit there, but um, as soon as I've got something else to focus on, I'm pretty good. We had the week over in Sydney with the boys, um, and that was kind of uh, a slightly easier week for me. Still trained over there, but took it a little bit easier, and then as soon as I got back, just jumped back into uh the start of another eight week training camp. So it's just rolled on nicely from the last one. Obviously doing a couple back to back takes its toll on the body a little bit, but I've dealt with that pretty well. And uh getting to the point that I'm at now, I feel like it's all coming together really nicely and I'm probably going to be better off for for doing the back to back camps anyway. Man, talking about coming over to Sydney, obviously you watched the the UFC. Um some some bad outcomes for the CKB lads. How does that sort of affect your team and, and how was it? Um, yeah, obviously it wasn't the, the perfect outcome, but we just took the positives away. Obviously it was uh, really good for Kevin to finally get his foot in the door and, and have the big win. That's, uh, that was huge for us. Um, and then Carlos just continuing his rise and, and Tyson looking better than he's ever looked. Um, they were the positives that we took away and, and, and you know, it wasn't, wasn't perfect for the rest of the boys, but they'll be back. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. What's your take on Izzy's fight, man? Like everyone kind of watching it is is oh, most people that are positive are like, oh, you know, Izzy just didn't quite see himself. Was that like Strickland that made Izzy not really see himself, or do you think Izzy really wasn't on his game that day? I think you've got to give Strickland credit. You can't take anything away from him. He was the one that was in there and uh, put on a great performance. Um, but I fully think that Israel will be able to make those adjustments and and come back and, and, and fix things the next time around. But yeah, all credit to, to Strickland for the performance. How does it affect the gym or does it have an effect on the gym? Like you said, there's some real positives there as well as negatives, but you, you know, your world title holder is not a world title holder anymore. Does that have a ripple effect through the gym at all? Does that make people train harder? Does it make people feel a bit disheartened? What does it, what sort of effect does it have? Um, yeah, maybe, maybe some people were disheartened a little bit, but I think Israel's taking it pretty well and he was still in, in good spirits and we've seen him around and and we're all confident that we're going to be able to that he's going to be able to get it back so now things there's always something else to focus on here there's so many other guys getting ready for fights and we, they don't have time to dwell on that so no nah, it's been 
the buzz is still the buzz is still great around here. It's good. it's always good. Yeah, I was thinking that. Like, I mean, with so many fighters and an experienced gym, you're gonna have your your wins and losses, right? Like, you should be used to dealing with it. But just wondering at that level if it had a different effect. Yeah. All right, bro. So Eternal 81, November 4th on the Gold Coast against the Welshman, John Martin Fraser. Um, what do you think of him and his skill set, bro? Like what sort of um what sort of way do you think the fight will go? Um he's uh shown an ability to mix it up really well, but I think his bread and butter is still a striking. Um he'll switch back and forth between Southpaw and Orthodox, which will make uh for an interesting puzzle. Um and his his grappling is formidable as well. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see how he decides to approach me, but I'm just going to go in there and, and and take my time and settle in and, and be prepared for five hard rounds, I, I think. So I'll be prepared for whatever. I'm ready to strike. I'm ready to grapple. Uh, I'm ready to do some jujitsu if I need to. Uh, but I'll mix it up and just look to uh, to be the better man over the course of the five rounds. Nice, man. Hey, with having that little bit of downtime, uh, I mean, time off, not being able to fight, hard to get opponents, people pulling out, et cetera, how do you feel leading up the fight? Do you feel pumped and excited or you feel apprehensive or a mixture of both? Oh, I think it's always a, a little bit of a mixture of both. Like I've been out for two years. Um, I know that I'm better than I've ever been. Um, stronger, fitter, more technical. I've vastly improved my skill set since my last outing. Um, so I know I've got all the tools. Um, it's just about being able to get in there on the night and just be cool, calm and collected and put my best foot forward, which I know I'm going to be able to do, but there's still always going to be the nerves and, and the doubts. That's uh, that's just part of the sport, but I'll, I'll overcome that and, and we'll get in there and get it done. Nice, man. Nice. Um, anyway, man, I'm looking forward to the fight. Two great guys, uh, two strong fighters. going to be a really good one. That's actually a beautiful card that you're fighting on as well, right? Some good undercard guys. I'll try and catch up with a few of them as well. So it's going to be a great show. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, uh, obviously, Kieran Joblin and, and Becker is going to be a, a really high-quality fight. So awesome to have uh, fights of that caliber on the card. And uh, Diego Pereira and the guy Jones, I think, is it also on the card? That'll be a really good one. And I'm hoping to have maybe one more of my teammates, uh, Selby, on the card as well. So fingers crossed they can find him somebody. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a banger. Nice, man. Hey, one thing I didn't ask you last time New Zealand's such a melting pot of uh, cultures, same as Australia, I guess. Um, but New Zealand, all the, all the Pacific Islanders, Maori heritage, et cetera. I didn't ask you, what's your background, bro? Uh, just. Uh, I'm just European Cobb, yeah. That's uh that's that. I've been living in New Zealand my whole life, just grew up in Dunedin. Um parents grew up in Dunedin. Um grandparents immigrated from Scotland maybe in the fifties or sixties. Yep. Nice, nice. No worries, bro. Just thought I'd ask. All right, bro. Thanks for your time again, bro. And um, yeah, appreciate it. And uh looking forward to seeing the fight. Best of luck with it, bro. May the best man win, eh? I appreciate it. Thanks, brother. Thanks, man. Cheers.